بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين It comes in the hadith that when a person dies and the body is being taken to the grave in that mayit the dead person speaks it speaks and it addresses the people who are taking the mayit and that speech or those words cannot be heard by man and jinn. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa said that all the creation of Allah hears except man and jinn. Now what is the purpose of this? When a person dies, whoever that is, Muslim, non-Muslim, then you learn, then you realize the truth. The reality now comes in front of you. That is why after the battle of Badr, when those kuffar were killed, then their bodies were thrown into the well. There is a well there, the well of Badr. And when everything was over, then Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi went by that well and he spoke to those dead bodies. And he said to them that now you know what I was telling you all along is the truth. And now you will realize what the azab of Allah is that I was warning you of. So then we see now, from this we realize that a mayit, a dead person, realizes the reality. So this mayit speaks, and the mayit of a mu'min, and it addresses the people. So what does it say? Obviously, Nabi Sallallahu mentioned this. So we believe this is what's happening, although we can't hear so it says to the people that Ya Hamalata Na'asha, O oh you who, is ca- who are carrying my janaza today, La ta dunya kama gharratni. Let the world not deceive you like it deceived me. Wala tal'abanda bikumud dunya and let the world not toy with you like it toyed with me. So he says the world must not deceive you. This dunya today is deception. You find everything about this world, the people that live in this world, people that are involved in this dunya, they themselves are people who deceive. The dunya itself deceives you. Today something happens. Today the dunya gives you respect. Tomorrow you lose that respect overnight. Today it gives you fame. Tomorrow you lose that fame. Today you get a position. Tomorrow you lose that. So this is how the dunya toys with people. This is life. And then we know that the world is such, the outer side is always adornment. It is adorned, it is attractive, but inside it is rotten. They say that, and we mentioned this some time ago when Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made, when he went on the Mi'raj, so he was traveling from Makkah Sharif to Masjid Al-Aqsa. On the journey he saw a lot of things, and one of the things he saw he was going with Jibreel alayhi salam. On the roadside, there was a woman. From a distance, she looked so beautiful and attractive because she was wearing beautiful clothes. There was so attractive, shining jewelry. But when he came near, the face of this woman was very ugly. It was an old woman. So Jibreel says that, and this woman was calling Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, inviting him towards her. And the Prophet of Allah, didn't, he looked at her and he carried on. So Jibreel says that this is the dunya. This woman represents the dunya and she's calling you. Had you answered her call or had you gone towards her, then your whole ummah would have been misled by the dunya. Today the ummah, the people that are misled, of course, are the kuffar. They are getting into this dunya. The dunya is turning their minds around. So this ummah has been saved because of the wiseness and the wisdom of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So it says that let the dunya not deceive you. And then it says that what the yanu yuhasibuni yawm al qiyamah. The yan is one of the names of Allah. It means the one who is who who takes a, who takes an account from you. So this uh, Allah Azza wa Jal will take an account from me on Qiyamah Day. Today you are leave, you are seeing me off. You are seeing me off to my qabr, but that's all you're going to do for me. I will leave you behind, and then it is only me and my a'mal. 
And he says, Wa inna ahli lam yatahammalu bin wizri shay'an. Even my family, they will not take any of my burden away from me. Even the least bit, they will not bear my burden. I'll have to carry my burden alone. I have left behind this dunya. I left behind my wealth. It's all gone to my family. And now when I'm placed in my qabr, it is only me and my a'mal. So these are very uh, sterling and very stern warnings from the mayyit. Nabi sallallahu ta'ala wasam said this to us, so we must keep this in mind. This is something we always try and revise, that the world is deception. We use this world to the extent that we need it, but within the framework of our deen, within the framework of the taqwa that Allah has commanded us to observe. And then, inshallah, one will be saved from this dunya. They say again, the only Allah give this example, the dunya is like the sea, and the mu'min is like the ship. As long as the mu'min is on top of the dunya, you will travel across and everything will be fine. The moment that water comes into the ship, the ship will sink. So if the dunya comes into you, you're going to sink with it and be destroyed. Allah ta'ala save us and grant us understanding. Subhanallah.